Okay, here we are with my 1987 high maintenance money wasting vehicle, also known as HMMWV, the Humvee. And today we're doing the glow plugs. Actually, it turned into a two day thing. The glow plugs were all swollen in there. They were not coming out for nothing. I had two that actually extracted uh, sanely. They came out right. The rest of them were all a bunch of carnage. Uh, and this is the tailings of them. This is all the glow plugs right here. And uh, turned out to be a big deal. Uh, so, for people that are taking the glow plugs out and incurring the stuck glow plug that doesn't come out of the hole, out of the cylinder head, it's not actually that big of a deal. Don't, don't stress out about it. It's a pain in the ass. You do have to take the injectors out. Uh, you'll take the injector out uh, with a 30 millimeter socket. Um, and you will have to break off the tips of the actual glow plug and leave them in the cylinder head. Yeah, scary, but it's actually not big of a deal. Uh, it stays in the pre-cup. Uh, the pre-cup is actually a combustion chamber above the cylinder, so it's not going to go into the engine. It's almost uh, almost impossible for it to actually fit through and get into the uh, cylinder. So, sounds scary, but break the tips off. Okay, look at this one. I mean, that is not coming out. See how it's kind of swollen at the end? Break the tips off. Take the injector out. I custom fabricated this, this forcep looking thing. This is actual... Uh, needle nose plier that I got from Harbor Freight is like a dollar and it bent over the tip so it was very easy to grab these little pieces out of the pre-cup through the cylinder or uh, th I'm sorry through the uh, injector hole so you take the injector out you take the injector out okay say this is the injector hole that the injector fits into okay this is the say this is the cylinder head you're gonna take your little forceps and actually go in there and fish it out okay you're gonna fish out the little piece say it's in there you fish it out it'll come out you know you might have to fight with it a little bit but uh, just to show you I want to show you this was the hardest one it was behind the alternator the alternator was indeed a, a pain in the ass it wasn't a pain I just had to move it but you can see the actual injector hole okay and right below it there's a little hole below it that's the glow plug hole but look you can get your finger in it you can feel it. I know it's hard for me to see, but I got my finger in there and I can feel, I can feel in there uh, where the glow plug is. You'll feel it stuck in there and you can feel it rolling around in there and you'll be able to get your four steps in there and pull it out. So that's the actual cylinder head. The glow plug hole is right behind it, but, uh, underneath it. And like I said, you can actually put your finger in there and feel the glow plug, which means you can get a little custom do doohickey to get in there and fish it out. So not a big deal snap it off it will come out uh, all the other ones are pretty straightforward i did get it the back once through the back of the engine had to take the dog house out not a big deal at all made it actually pretty easy uh, it was pretty straightforward just a kind of a pain in the ass to reese you know have break all the nice seals on the injectors to pull them out but works out good it's just a pain in the butt but it's not the end of the world